Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the housing handle on a Black & Decker CST1200 string trimmer. I'll start by removing one side of the housing handle. It's secured with a series of screws. With the screws removed, now I'll split open the two sides of the housing. With the housing removed, you want to be careful. Because this is a battery operated unit, all of the wiring is still live at this point. So what I want to do is remove the connection at the top of the battery and wrap some electrical tape around it to isolate it from the rest of the wiring. That way you can't accidentally turn on the trimmer while you're working on it. Now remove the lock button and the lock button spring. Now remove the actuator and the actuator spring. Before you remove any of the wiring, it's a good idea to take a picture or make a wiring diagram so you'll know where everything goes when you go to put it back together. I like to use my phone and I'll just snap a couple of pictures to use as a reference. Now remove the switch and disconnect the wires from the back of the switch. Now remove the battery. Now I'll disconnect the battery wiring harness. and remove it from the housing. And now remove the other half of the handle housing. Now replace the tube onto one half of the handle housing assembly. Now reinstall the battery wiring harness using the pictures that I took earlier as a reference. Now reinstall the white wire from the battery wiring harness to the negative side of the battery and insert the battery back into the housing. Now reconnect the wires to the switch and reinstall the switch into the housing. Now I can install the actuator compression spring onto the end of the actuator and reinstall the actuator and spring into the handle assembly. Now reinstall the lock button spring and the lock button. Now I can reinstall the opposite half of the handle housing. But before I do that, I want to take a minute and tuck away all of the wires so none of them get pinched when we put the two halves of the housing together. Also, I'll need to reconnect the positive side of the wiring harness to the battery. and I'll secure the housing with the screws.
And that's how you can install a new handle housing on your Black & Decker CST-1200 string trimmer. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.